Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be studying 2014 USAMO problem number one. Here's a view of this problem. A, B, C, D are real numbers such that B minus C, D is greater than or equal to 5. Um, and it's also given that X1, X2, X3 and X4 are the roots of the following polynomial, fourth degree polynomial, where A, B, C and D are the coefficients. And we are also given that the roots are all real. Find the smallest value of the following product. So this suggests we should be using an inequality of some sort. Okay, so what I will do is I will go ahead and start with uh, this expression here. And I will simply go ahead and um, multiply these expressions, but in, 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 in a smart way. I will just multiply the first two terms and then I will multiply <coughs> the, the other two terms. So therefore, what we have here is that this expression is just equal to this long uh, expression. So we have x1 squared, x2 squared. Then we have x1 squared plus x2 squared, uh, I believe plus 1. And we'll have a similar expression for um, the other two terms as well. So this plus 1. So at this point, um, it turns out a, a simple trick will, will be very helpful. And that trick is that I would like to add and subtract uh, 2x sub 1, x sub 2 from this expression. And I will do the same trick on this one as well. So we will add and subtract. So we'll subtract and add this expression here. And we'll pretty much do the same thing on this side as well. So x4, 2x x4 so let me just go ahead and organize it in a nice way so i will have x1 squared x2 squared minus 2x1 x2 um, plus um, 1 plus um, and then i will have the other term here so x1 squared plus 2x1 x2 plus x2 squared i will pretty much do the same thing to for the other expression as well but then um, this in turn can be written as this is a perfect square here. So we have x1, x2 minus 1 squared. And this term here is also a perfect square. So we have x1 plus x2 squared. And the, se the second term will have a similar expression here. So x3, x4. Oh, sorry for that. Uh, so x3, x4 uh, minus 1 squared plus x3 um, plus x4 squared um, and finally um, we just realize something really beautiful going on here it just turns out that if you just call this expression as a1 and this one as a2 call this one as b1 and this one as b2 this this very much uh, so we have a square here plus here square here square here plus here and a square here this very much reminds us of the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality, which is the case. So, um, therefore, we can rewrite this so that this expression here is greater than or equal to, if you recall, a1b1 plus a2b2, obviously, squared. So, um, so therefore, um, I claim that this thing is, well, a1b1 is just this thing, so x1, x2 minus 1. Um, times, in fact, I will just do a small trick here and I will write it in the other order. So it will be 1 minus x3, x4. Um, and then I should have a2, b2. So um, plus um, x1 plus x2 times, um, times this one, the second one, which is x3 plus x4. And the whole thing squared obviously right so I will have the whole thing squared so that's that's true because of Cauchy Schwartz inequality so um then the rest of the thing is pretty straightforward so we just realize that this expression here so it has an x1 x2 here and then I have it has an x3 x4 so let me just write it carefully so x1 x2 um so we have an x3 x4 here um, in fact, if we are 
following a smart strategy here, we realize we can add these two by two terms here. So x1, x3 plus x1, x4 plus x2, x3 plus x2, x4. And then what's remaining here is that uh, minus 1 here from the first expression. And there's this x1, x2, x3, x4. So now uh, we will just go ahead and use Vieta formulas. Huh? So if we just, uh, let me just scroll slightly a little bit here. So using Vieta formulas on the polynomial here, because we already know x1, x2, x3, and x4 are the roots. So therefore we have these uh, multiplication here, which is simply, if you remember from the eta formula, it should be B. Huh? So that whole thing is just, oh, sorry for that. So I just forgot the square here, I'm sorry. So uh, so this expression here is a B minus, uh, well, let's just replace these two things here. So x1, x2, x3, x4 is just D, but then it has a minus sign in front, and then there's a minus one remaining, so all things squared. But we already know b minus d is greater than or equal to 5. So that whole expression is greater than or equal to 5 minus 1 squared, which is equal to 4 squared. And therefore, um, um, so we, we just realize that um, the smallest value that this product on the left-hand side here can take would be 16. So that solves our uh, problem. Um, it's also possible to solve this problem uh, using the features of polynomials. All you would do in that case is to just plug in x equals i and x equals negative i um, into the polynomial uh, expression and then multiply them out. So therefore p of i times p of negative i, it turns out that gives you a, a sum of two squares which turns out to be greater than or equal to 16. So I will just leave it to you as an exercise to try to see if you can find a similar result where the smallest value of this given product is just 16. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, see you in our next lecture.